New this morning, vaccinations are rolling out throughout the country, including right here in the Valley. And right now, distribution still in the first phase, which includes first responders. First news on Fox reporter Brooke Meenahan is live this morning in Kinsman, where the Burghill Vernon Fire Department is getting ready to receive the vaccine. Good morning, Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Brandon. They received that vaccination yesterday. It's the Moderna vaccination, and the first doses are going to start rolling out um, in a few hours now. But we're walking you through the process of getting to that point. I'm here with Chief George Snyder. And so when people start to come in, first responders, EMS personnel, what exactly is the process like? So we have a one way flow through the building. They're going to come up through the one side of the building, they're going to come here, they're going to grab one of these clipboards. And on the clipboards has all the information that we're going to need to get from them to be able to record the vaccine, plus everything that we need to give them before they leave. Okay. Once they come there, they can come to one of these tables. We have them set up so that there's only one person per table, and we have our social distancing practiced. Once they get this folder um, completed, then they're going to be greeted over here by somebody who is running our triage and registration unit. Uh -huh. So the, the client will be taken into one of these rooms here on the right. Once they come in here, the individual that's doing triage and registration will sit them there. They'll be over there. They're going to verify all the information that's here, grab some vital signs on them, get their temperature, their pulse oximetry, and make sure that they still want to receive the vaccine, make sure that they can receive the vaccine based on the indications and contraindications to receive it. When they're done, we're going to walk them across to one of these open pods that are over here. These are one of our vaccination units. So they're going to come in here. The individual who's going to be giving the vaccine will greet them. Sit them down, make sure they are who they say they are. Check them out by name, date of birth. Um, make sure, once again, the, the, their allergies. Make sure they want to get the vaccine. And once they do, they're going to get the shot. Okay. Once they get the shot, then they have to go to our post-vaccination observation unit. So which the way, Which is back here. What Moderna has set out is that the vaccine, once somebody receives it, they have to be observed for at least 15 minutes unless they've had an allergic reaction to a previous vaccine of any type, then they have to be watched for 30 minutes. Okay. The way we have this set up, we have 10 pods in here. They're split off in two. So we'll have two folks that are watching these folks for the 15 minutes that they're supposed to be here, up to the 30, depending on what it is. If they have no reactions whatsoever, then they'll be given this discharge paperwork that I showed you that was in this chart right here, along with their vaccination card that shows that they actually received the vaccine. And then they'll be directed to leave out the back of the building and around. So there's a one-way flow through here. And we have stuff set up here for them. We'll have some pop and such out here for them to be able to have while they're sitting there for, for the 15 minutes. We've got Wi-Fi for them so they can play on their phones or whatever <laughs> it is that they need to do while they're waiting to, to be discharged. Right. And when you're in this uh, observation post-vaccination, what are some of the reactions that, that you could be looking out for if they were to have some? Well, we're looking for signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction. So the, the the big ones that we're looking for are the shortness of breath, the numbness and tingling to the, um, to the lips, face, the swelling of the tongue. We're looking for a racing heart rate, um, looking for them to be sweaty. And, and one of those is not necessarily an indication, but you start pairing them up, or in the case of the respiratory distress or that, that numbness or tingling in the mouth and face, those are big triggers. But that's what we're going to be looking for. And then we have um, epinephrine and uh, uh, diphenhydramine available in the event that we have to treat them and if they do have to go to the hospital we have our ambulance available to be able to take them. Okay. And like Chief just said that this is kind of like a one-way thing so you're trying to avoid all the traffic, keeping that social distancing, making sure people are wearing masks and they're also doing a lot of disinfecting which coming up in the next half hour we'll walk you through that process as well. For now though reporting live in Vernon Township, Brooke Meanahan, First News on Fox.